everyone here and welcome to my channel graphic for you today i'm going to show you how to create ink falling like this it's very easy and uh, let's get started first create a new composition then hit ok go to layer new solid and i'll call it ink change this color to white it's very important then hit ok now i'll go to pin tool and press shift and draw line like this and if i want to move this line i'll press alt go to selection tool and alt and i'll move it like this okay now i'll open this layer masks and mask one Control v to copy then alt and i'll move mask number two like this again Control v Control v again Okay, now I'll go to effects and presets and I'll type stroke. Okay, uh, double click or drag and drop. Okay, my first path, mask one. Okay, now I want to change on original image to on transparent like. And I'll increase brush size around 30 or 30. Okay, now go to first frame and keyframe on end. Increase end to zero. Go to four seconds. And increase. Okay, first degrees and to zero and increase this then I'll go here and I'll press U and I'll change this point to easy ink this is my first mask okay now control D to stroke and change mask one to mask two and again change on transport uh, on transparent to uh, on original image like this to see two masks here and i don't need this uh, uh, this black between two masks so I'll go to brush size and I'll increase it also here yeah now I'll go to ink again change uh, press U and I'll change position into mask to like this okay okay now go to stroke number change mask 2 to mask 3 and also I'll increase to remove or I don't want to see this line so I'll increase it yeah like this and again I'll press you here and I'll change like this
Okay, now I finished my work here, so let me see the result here of that. Okay, now right click and pre-compose. Okay, and make sure that you are on move all attributes into the new composition, then hit OK. Now I'll go to effects and presets. And type fast box blur. Double click and uh, blur radius, I'll increase it maybe around 15 would be good 15 maybe 16 yeah and i'll check repeat edge pixel okay now i'll go again to effects and presets and i'll type graphing edge okay and I'll change this a to zero and I'll scale it And I think we need to scale it more. Seven hundred, maybe. Okay, and also you can do it better than this tutorial. Okay, now I finished my tutorial, so if you like it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and goodbye.